Hi, welcome to the quick start video presentation of Indusoft Web Studio. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create a new application using Indusoft Web Studio. Uh, a couple of screens, a slider, and a button and a light. Let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to want to do is click on the new project icon and the new project tab here and I'm going to use the name of quick start and here I can choose the target platform and I have several choices and these choices essentially let me choose the number of tags the um, number of drivers and the runtime operating system I have a choice of running on Windows CE or Windows Mobile uh, as well as a desktop or server Windows operating system uh, for this demo, I'm going to choose Local Interface, which is uh, 1,500 tags, three drivers, and a desktop runtime environment. Once I click on OK, I'm going to be presented with uh, an application, uh, a, a choice to choose the application runtime size. I'm going to choose 800 by 600, or I could choose custom, depending on the display uh, size that I have, uh, if it's something other than one of these standard drop-down items. Click on OK. Uh, then that will create the application um, using standard 800 by 600 screens from now on, or the default, I should say. I'm going to right-click on Screens and click on Insert. And I have a lot of choices here on how the screens can look and function and where they're positioned, as well as uh, uh, scripting that runs in the background behind the screen. But for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to choose the default and click on OK. That creates my display here. And uh, I'm going to pick a slider from our library of symbols. In this case, I'm going to choose uh, sliders, slider 1. I'm going to choose slider 1 as it has a numerical value as well as a slider built into it. And uh, I can double click on this and expand this properties box. And you can see this slider happens to have a minimum and a maximum of 0 to 100, but I can change that if I want to. I'm going to type in the tag name here, V1. Now I can pre-create these tags uh, in our tag database or choose to create them on the fly. Uh, by using them in the object, I'm going to create them on the fly and uh, we have that option. So when I click on OK, the system system's going to ask me if I want to create this tag. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to keep it as an integer, but I do have the choice of Boolean, integer, real, or string. Um, these tags can be internal or they can be external. I can tie them to PLCs, uh, other controllers, temperature controllers. Uh, over 200 drivers are built into Indusoft Web Studio. Um, then I'm going to place a piece of text on the screen. In this piece of text, I'm going to type in V1 equals pound, pound, pound. Now the pound sign characters are kind of special within Indusoft Web Studio. And, uh, as I have this typed here, this is just text. But I'm going to apply this thing here on the right called a text I.O. dynamic. And the text I.O. dynamic uh, is applied to a text object. So you can see here I have the text I I'm sorry, the text object with text I.O. dynamic applied to it. And in this uh, tag slash expression field, I can type in the tag V1, or I can put in a full expression. Whatever that evaluates to, it's going to replace the pound signs within this text object. I could choose to have the input enabled and allow me to type into this text object, essentially a write to that tag name. But for this demo, I'm just going to choose that this be a read-only object. Uh, next, I'm going to add a button on the screen. And when I add this button, uh, this button is going to allow me to go to a second screen, navigate to a second screen. So I'm going to just type in screen 2 in here. And um, this is just the label on this screen. This does not functionally enable this button as of yet. I'm going to come back and do that in a minute. But in the meantime, I'm going to save this screen by right-clicking on this tab. Click Save. And we're going to call this Main. And now I'm going to create a second screen. So I'm going to go right click again on my screens here, click on insert, again keeping the defaults. And uh, on this screen I'm going to place a button. And this button uh, I'm going to label change v2. And again that text does not determine the functionality of this button. 
what I'm now going to do is apply a command dynamic to this button. That's this little mouse icon here on the right. And uh, as I previously did on the other screen, you can see that this is a, uh, an object, in this case a button, that has a label on it. And it also has a dynamic, in this case a command dynamic. Now the command dynamic lets me choose functionality of when I press this, uh, while it's, it's pressed or clicked, uh, on up, and there's several other choices here. I can also use the built-in scripting language within Indusoft. I can use VB script. Uh, I can open screens, close screens, and change values of tags. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to choose toggle tag. I'm going to type in V2, and I have not created V2 yet, so the system will prompt me for V2. And I'm going to change this to a Boolean since I just want it to be a bit. And now I'm going to place a circle on this screen. And for a circle, I'm going to use the ellipse tool. And I'm going to draw a circle. And this circle by itself will not change colors. I will have to apply a color dynamic, which is a little paint roller here. And I will put in tag V2 here. And when tag V2 or whatever is in this field uh, evaluates to a zero, it will change to be red. And when it's on or a one, it will change to be green. Uh, notice that I do not have to close this properties box as I change from object to object. That's a nice feature built into Indusoft Web Studio that I don't have to dive in and out of menus. Uh, it saves me keystrokes and mouse clicks. Uh, so it just makes you more efficient over time as a developer. Uh, and I'm going to give myself um, a button here to get back to the main screen. So I'm going to label this as main. And I'm going to again apply a command dynamic. And I'm going to tell this to open a screen. And I can choose to type the name of the screen in here, but just so I don't make any mistakes, we give you the choice to pick from a list of saved screens. So click on OK after I've chosen main. And now I can save this screen. And I'm going to save this screen. I'm just going to keep it as the default name is display three. And now that I have this screen saved, I can close this. Now I'm going to go back to this button. Now I want to show you that once I apply a command dynamic to this button, uh, I'm going to choose open screen. And even though it's labeled as screen 2, I'm going to have it go to the screen we just created, which is display 3. I want to show you that the text on the button is independent of which screen it goes to. So here we go. And at this point, I can save this main screen and close it. I have one more thing to do before I can run the project. I have to set which screen is the startup screen. So I'll go into Project, Settings, and choose my Runtime Desktop tab here. And this field here, which is Startup Screen, I will choose the main screen as the startup screen, and click on OK. Uh, I'm going to be, for this demo, running this on my local PC. Both the development and the runtime will be on the local PC. I could choose this icon and choose a network uh, PC where I could run my application remotely. And that could be anywhere over uh, a, a TCP IP network. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I'm going to just keep it on my local machine. And in order to run this, that's all I have to do is click on Run Application. Now when I run this application, you will see the application show up and now I can move my slider and you can see the value of this text object changed accordingly. I can click on this button that says screen 2 and go to screen 2. Now that the tag V2 is off this circle shows uh, that it's off or red and when I toggle this uh, button here that toggles a value of V2 and the circle changes to green I can toggle it back to red. And just to show you my navigation works back to my main screen, I can click on this and go back to my main screen. So there's a two-screen quick demo just to show you some of the basic functionality of Indusoft Web Studio. For a more full-featured demo, uh, please contact us at info at indusoft.com. Send us an email, and we'd be happy to uh, get back in touch with you and uh, answer any questions you might have. Thanks, and have a nice day.